all right welcome back so we are out here with the xrt on x max wheels black chrome and we are out here with my x max and this has the wide max kit on it so i want to do kind of a comparison because they both have the wide stance they both have max sixes uh one is my x max is on the stock motor and the xrt well you know it's on the mini big block 1100 kv motor so we're gonna give them a rip up and down the street and we're gonna see uh see how they work then we're gonna take them into the dirt and see how they perform So it does have a little bit more clearance. And I can immediately tell with the X-Max tires, it comes right up in a wheel stand. Because the tires balloon so much. lot of gearing on this one 3946 XRT Definitely a ton of power, and I think uh, that big block setup is pretty cool for on-road. Not so much gearing with this and a stock motor, but still on a Max 6. And yes, I tightened down the wheels this time. And this has got the this has got the upgraded X servo in it. Steel wheelies, but you gotta time it. little three-wheel motion That's where you can't go full trigger or you'll pop a tire. <laughs> so we're gonna take them up to the dirt. We're gonna give them a rip. I'm gonna grab some packs some extra packs for the X-Max and uh, we're gonna head up at the top so we'll see you guys up there. All right, out here at my jump spot, the sun's still pretty high up and I know when the sun hits the GoPro, it uh, darkens so it's hard to see. But I do like the black chrome on the XRT. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a rip up here. So much power with uh, this XRT now. And the diff did make a big difference when it comes to transferring the power to the rear.
I can tell it's a lot quicker because it's not just dipping out. It's just throwing up the front end now. Ooh. Too much throttle. Man, that thing rotates quick. Right on that wheelie bar. Doesn't take much to get this thing to flip. Wow. I'm really worried about this front bulkhead, upper bulkhead, because I haven't, uh, I haven't braced it yet. God, what a beast. This thing is just an animal. Man, crazy, crazy amount of speed with that. Let's uh, give the wide X max. Now this one didn't rotate well from what I remember. Yeah. Somebody was asking me, would I get an X max or an XRT? In my opinion, what should you get? This is a monster truck. That's a truggy. They handle way different. Um, even though they're the same platform, honestly, it's a different feel. Now my standard with Max, it rotates a lot better. This thing loves the jump, plenty of ground clearance. And I broke the bulkheads on this too. Just an animal. X Max is just an animal. But I can't get it to rotate, and it could be because of my gearing. My other one rotates pretty good. This one does not. But it jumps nice. And it's real stable with the wide kit on it. You know, some people were saying the Axe Max tips over a lot. Well, that's why they produce the wide kit. Now I can get this thing to rotate. I just gotta put a bigger motor in it to handle the gearing. So, I mean, it's your choice. What look do you like? Do you like the low profile, low chassis look? Or do you like the high clearance, wide, wide max, wide X max look? It's honestly your choice. I can't pick for you guys. All I can do is show you in the video. Well, they do. I mean, this thing just goes anywhere. Oh, yeah. If you talk to RC Guy Garage, he didn't like the X max. Now, he never ran the wide X-Max. His X-Max didn't last long enough to really perform for him. He broke tires right away. He never had a Max 6 in it uh, in stock form. So, and never, never upped the gearing. Look at it, just an animal. And then you get an indestructible body thing's a beast I just don't worry about breaking it the things that break on these things other than the upper bulkhead which I got to reinforce on this front and rear um, and the bearing carriers uh, for the most part put a max six in them do some uh, bearing carriers 
I did the front C hubs on this um, because I kept snapping C hubs, but then I went to aluminum bear bearing carriers in the front, haven't had a problem since. There are minor upgrades that you have to do. Now I've got hot racing diff covers on this. I got a hot racing uh, Cush drive cover on my X Max and upgraded steering servo. But I've had this thing three years. My other one, well, no, this one I've had eight years. My other one, I've had three years. So it's it's all on what you want to do. So this has got the the spring upgrade for the wide kit, and we changed the shock fluid in it, and it's real stable. And like I said, do you need, now this is low profile here. I mean, you could tell it jumps the same. Tons of power. I'm barely touching the trigger. But if you have big rocks, this chassis is just going to, uh, to get knocked in it, you know, where the X-Max got more ground clearance. This thing is an animal with this gear ratio. You could tell XRT's got a lot more speed, but you can put the same speed into an X-Max. So, I like the trucks for what they are. And that's all I really have to say about that. I will do a final review after I finish, you know, all the upgrades to this XRT. I just don't know what else I'm gonna be breaking on this thing. <laughs> Blue attire. <laughs> Blue attire. Brand new tire and we blew it and it blew out the foam and it blew a front tire again. Man, this thing's got too much power. Look at that. I pulled that trigger way too hard in the air and it was rotating perfect. Hopefully I didn't rip the tire. So it blew the outer glue, just like on the XRT tires. This one did exactly the same thing. The glue just came undone and there, there really is no glue on the tire. You could tell the glue is right on the lip right here, but the tire itself, no glue. There's just no glue on these tires. Even the back ones are coming unglued now. And that's the thing with the X-Max tires is that everybody knows you have to glue them. Now, some people were saying you rip the tire. You only rip the tire if you puncture it or you're full throttling it and the glue holds in a spot and it rips the tire. Luckily, I brought spare tires for this so we're not done just uh give me a minute and we're gonna have to take this one back down to the car and uh change out one of these tires i did bring a set of uh x max wheels because i had a feeling one of these cars were gonna break the foam so I don't know if I want to risk this one on doing that. You know, you can put the Proline wheels on this. The belted Proline wheels, the problem with that, the wheel is just too darn heavy and you're gonna cause other things to break. So, Let's continue to rip the X-Max. That's why I think the X-Max motor 
with the Max 6 is the way to go. Because you just don't have that kind of wheel speed to where you're blowing off tires every run. Coke can motor, especially I thought the mini Coke can motor would be okay. But apparently it's not. Whoa, I almost fell into that hole. This sun is blinding, I'll tell you that. Hopefully you guys can see these jumps. I know how the GoPro doesn't like to uh, to capture it. Just a beast. The X Max is a beast. I don't care what anybody says. I love my X Maxes. And that's why I bought the XR2. It would be a fun, different style truck. That I could share my X Max parts with it. Ooh. That wasn't good. I hit the brakes way too early. Oh, that bumper is stuffed into the body. But we're still good. I'll check uh, the bulkheads when we get back. I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's an X Max. Even if I break something. I'll be able to still run. And it shut off. I think that ESC took a bit of an impact and said, hell no. I'm not putting up with you slapping the chassis. Yeah, that one came loose. Max 6, stock motor. Max 6 fan isn't even spinning. I wonder if it's uh if it's broke a blade. Doesn't seem to be stuck. Oh yeah, it is. Broke another fan blade. Wow. We broke the fan blade on my Max 6 here. Fans are still working here, but ESC is gonna start to run too hot. So, gotta get the, the fan blade changed out on that max six and i gotta get a tire for that one but there's a little bit of run video um wish it was more time i know i can continue to run the x max until the esc cuts off but i i just don't want to bring it up to that temperature and i do have a tire but i don't want to continue to put open a brand new set of tires just to have it rip uh, another one I need to glue these, double glue these all the way around. I just wanted to get out and rip, see what kind of power this thing is putting out. But uh, it's just too much power. Too much power, too much gear. And that's why I was telling people I might just go back to the stock motor and, uh, and not a Coke can motor in an XRT or an X Max. It's the same thing uh, that True Boy was telling me is that uh, once you go a big block, you're gonna continue to have issues. And that's 100% the truth. Yes, it's fun, 
yes it's got tons of power but if you can't keep tires on it and you can't get through a bash day is it really worth it some people were saying earl put belted tires on it belted tires will hold for a little while but i've proven with the with the mojave even belted tires will rip and come apart they will blow on one trigger pull on this thing i don't care if it's pro line or what it is unless you get those big trenchers they're real heavy super heavy they'll hold for a little while but even those blow kevin talbert showed it blowing on his hot dog or whatever that thing's called so there we go like comment subscribe little shorter video i really want to rip a little bit more um but we just uh we're just breaking parts even though this x max truly isn't broken i do i do not want to burn up another max six it already cost me 200 dollars this month Burning one up. God, I love the X Max. Got a stick in the wheel. This ESC needs a fan. So I'm going to stop horsing around. I really want to rip. But I got tomorrow, I got tonight to get these things fixed. And uh, hopefully I can find a fan. If I can't, I don't want to throw a Game Changer on there. I think Game Changer sent me over some stock replacement fans. Maybe I have one for a Max 6. I'm not sure. But uh, there we go. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Coke can motor worth it? You saw. Brand new tires. Didn't even get one backflip. And it blew. And I did lock the diff. That diff is tight. It's not totally locked, but the diff is tight. Still blew a front, front wheel. There we go. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch my you next guys. video. Thanks for watching. Walking down the hill with my two broken RC cars. I really wish. A tire manufacturer would make a good tire for an RC car. I've tried several brands. All of them are crap. When I add the power, things just go to shit. Look at that ground clearance. High center gravity. Just so you guys know, I'm not joshing when I say I bring the impact guns and I bring extra tires. They're not black chrome, but they'll work. Let me get this stuff put away. A little behind the scenes of me just horsing around. But I'm not horsing around when it comes to tires. I've tried all brands, everything, Dura tracks, belted, unbelted, it doesn't matter. The tire will rip if you put too much wheel speed to it. It just happens. I showed it with the Mojave. There's just not tires that'll hold. But there we go. Thanks for watching.